Um, I'm a big fan of Twitch insisting we've only got two viewers. Even though there's clearly... Hang on, the mic's a bit quiet, isn't it? Me, me, me. Me, 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 oh. um, <laughs> um, Hello, everyone. There's clearly more than two of you, because you're all in the chat, which is really nice. Hello. Hello, Rudgy. Hello, hello, Lindy. Hello, Bit of Toad. Nose underscore Jam. Kieran Winter. Pubis84. Ben. Real name. He gets his real name used. Don't know why. Uh, is he special? Oh, and other, other Ben. Naylor Ben. Uh, <laughs> Etc. Um, ah, yeah. Oh, you're all putting on voices. You're just putting on like a, a series of hats and wigs and and stuff. Um, well, he fooled me. Wait, what? There's no mic? Oh, the mic's... Sorry, the mic sounds off. Not as in the mic sound is off. Bit peaky. Peaky, so do you know what? Let's do... Let's turn it down on the actual microphone. How's that? that better? It's still... I mean, according to the... The little bar on the screen should be fine. But um, maybe not. How's that? Is that any better? The game sounds warped. What is happening? Oh, for God's sake. This is what happens when I don't stream for a bit. Um... Mock turtle soup. I'm not good, mate. Apparently everything sounds like shite. Okay, if I, <laughs> if I just turn uh, right down. Sounds like it's picking up from something worse. Is it using step right? It's definitely using the right pattern. Um. Yeah, no, no, I, I do appreciate it, Ben. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> is that all right? Yeah. And just how does the game sound? Does the game sound all right? I mean, it's just some music at the moment, but. Whatever. <coughs> cool, game's fine, wicked. Right. I wonder what that's about. It's it's absolutely fucked how you just you don't change anything and then suddenly one day it'll just be things do change without you changing them. <laughs> you want me just leave it on the menu? Then just we'll just have a chat for a bit. Um Right. I can't even remember so I I know it's all a few people in the chat. Um, saying not really feeling this so far I'm inclined to agree I um, I only bought this because it came out two days into uh, Isaac being told he had to isolate for ten days so I thought it'd be a nice thing for us to do while he's stuck at home um, as it turned out, he's not really that into it either. But I don't know if I'm just not enjoying it because I'm trying to play it with him and he's not really getting it. I mean, he's only three, so fair enough. But, so I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if I actually like this or not because I haven't really, I haven't just played it on my own terms on by myself, you know? Um, so, here's, here's the map. I've unlocked the Founder Jungle, which is the second area. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, and, and I've seen reviews complain about this, in that it, it's kind of, like, it's not always clear what you're meant to do next. It's just like, well, we'll just keep doing the same area again. Right, this request annoyed me because I've definitely done it and it just didn't register, which again is the thing, another thing I've seen people complain about. But let's try again. Let's try and get a picture of a quags quagsire jumping into the lake. Um... Also, I'm not sure if, like, in order for a, a quest to work, do you have to... So hang on, is that... Who's, who's Andrew? See, I've not been able to pay any attention to any of the tutorial stuff either, which probably hasn't helped. <laughs> um, that's right, that's someone else. Go away, Andrew. Um... Okay, all right, I'll ignore that. So yeah, so I don't know if for a request to work, does it have to be like equipped here or do they all track? And that's just the, that's due to just for your own reference. I can't remember. Anyway. Uh, 
That is, oh, that is just a reference. Okay, so they all they all track no matter what. Bit like Destiny 2, innit? Which I've been playing again, by the way, thanks to the new expansion. <clears throat> right, here we go. That's me. That's what I look like. Um, Good luck. I can do it. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Todd. Fucking Todd. Um, hello, Rudgy. Sorry, mate. You had a phone call. I do apologise. I'm expect. I think. I think my shopping's getting delivered between two and three, so I might have to dash off when that happens. Oi! Oi! Over here! Oh, for God's sake! See, I feel like there's a lot of. Oh, hang on. Oh, what's the photograph button? I changed the controls, didn't I? It's right bumper. Fuck's sake! Keep just lopping apple apples at. Whoa! Hello. I mean, according to the game, that's a bad photograph. But, whatever. There you go, have that. <laughs> See, that wasn't good technique. That was just throwing an apple. Oh, hello. Uh, subs, Woodfeller and Simon underscore DM. Thank you very much. Hello, Fizzy Juice. I'll, uh, I'll give you a... Uh, you're going live at two, aren't you? I'll, I'll drop you a raid when the shopping turns up. Look at that. Size of that. Woof. <laughs> um, yeah, you basically, that's one thing I do find weird about it, is that it's like, I understand, throwing the apples is like, I need to get a picture of a butterfly eating. I think that was the, the challenge. Um, but yeah, but you often feel like you're just fucking throwing them at them. Hello, mate. No, oh, you didn't like that. Um, oh, Quagsire. I'm not even going to take a photo of you there because there's going to be more later. I need to get a picture of one. Um, oh, my God. Hype train. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Radio Isaac. Um, I need to use the scanner as well, don't I? Because it'll tell me about... <gasps> what is this? Scan that shit. Some fruit. It's fallen out of picky peck storage. Oi, hey, mate! What are you up to? Yeah, nah, look at that. Look at that. Photography skills. This is actually, if you, uh, any nature photographer will tell you, this is how you do it. You just take a massive, unlimited bag um, of apples and you just pelt the animals with them. Invent a new Pokemon right now. Uh, are there any, are there any real life animals they haven't done at this point? You know, when they had a phase of just being like, ah, uh, it's just like a dog. Hey, get up. Cats, man. Unbelievable. Hey, come on, eat an apple. I need some points. <laughs> What's going on here? Hello. That's the wrong, wrong button. Didn't actually mean to throw that one. Um, is there a capybara Pokemon? No, I don't think there is. Um, I'm gonna get a shot of a Lipard eating. Oh, I missed it! Oh, <laughs> God's sake! Oi, mate, you get in there. Go on, jump in. Maybe if I throw them in the water in front of them. Do a scan, just in case. No, nope. little quagsire's just in the water now. <laughs> That's a great picture of the quagsire. <laughs> Come on! Uh, for God's sake! Hello, Nile Pudding. How's it going? I mean, this has been entirely uneventful, hasn't it? Hey, eat an apple. God, they're all right. battle cooperative with real life cats. I.e. not at all. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you'll just have a run like that where you're just like, well, I didn't really that? achieve anything then. I don't <laughs> or did I? I don't know. 
Because the thing is, then you go to this and it's like, oh, that's a two star banger. And I'm like, is it? Are they... <laughs> Just Google Capybara Pokemon to check. And people also ask, uh, pe oh, people also ask section said, are Capybaras edible? I mean, I imagine they are, but you wouldn't, would you? Then, then seem like nice guys. Uh, I... Fucking, I don't know, man. I don't know. So that for those who aren't familiar, the rules by which you are judged in this is basically, is the Pokemon facing towards the camera? Is it fully in shot? Is it in the center? And is it as big as possible? Which is not good photography, right? <laughs> Not to be a snob or pretend that I'm like a real photographer or anything, but those are not principles of good photography. So, it's just like, I don't know, it's just weird. I mean, they're both, neither of those are particularly good, are they? I'm gonna go with that one. Um, I, I understand, oh, there you go. One getting battered with an apple counts as a two-star picture. Let's, let's pick that one then. Amazing quagsire pictures. <laughs> no subject. All oh, right, yeah, that one didn't. That one didn't count. So, um, yeah. So I feel like it just obviously, obviously it needs its own consistent rules for you to adhere to, and I think okay. mostly it is consistent. So you can, you know, they have sort of successfully gamified photography, but just not in a way that actually teaches you anything about photography. <laughs> it's weird. Right, what have we got? It's a two-star one. Nice work. I bet it's not worth much, though. I also don't know how the star system works. I don't know if it's just certain point thresholds. Wow, apparently that's amazing. Fine. I'll take that. So, obviously, if they complete a challenge, they're four or five star. Okay. Um, this is not going to be a better point nice total. Point. Oh, yes, it is. Oh my god, absolutely smashed it. But there's like a million of them in the other photograph. Ugh, whatever. Hey, Punk, how's it going? Yes, let's keep the new picture, please. Big fan of it. Right. Um, this is not going to be nice good. Work. It looks like it's been bopped by something. Nice work. Keep it up. No, it's not nice work. It's animal abuse. And I've been awarded for it. So that's good. Get Peter on the phone. <laughs> well, don't, because they're nuts. Um, great. Nice work. Pokemon is the universe of animal abuse, to be fair. That's that's correct. You see, like, how have I got better points for direction and placement in that photograph versus the one on the left? <laughs> I mean, it's like the one on the left, he's facing, like, away, kind of. But do you know what I mean? Oh my god, that was all my... That, that is 45, only 45 points less good than that one. Do you see what I mean? It's a little bit frustrating. Whatever. Uh, keep the old one. As funny as it is, the new one. Uh, hey, Cosmonaut, thank you for the sub. Right, here we go. Can I be level 2 now, please? Yeah! All right. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Not too comfortable, I hope. Um, oh, no worries, Bitto. Thanks for, um, I was going to say, tuning in. Thanks for tuning in, mate. On your tuner that you use to tune into Twitch streams. Thanks for the progress you made in your research. I've got something to report. Oh, my God. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Um, I always used to, even when I was a kid, like obviously, so if you grew up in the late 80s stroke early 90s, you'll, you'll have been in that awkward space where like, people would refer to like tuning in to a television program, which obviously is a holdover from the days where you did actually have to manually adjust, like on a radio, if you can remember radios back then. <laughs> um, All right. So yeah, be like, oh yeah, don't don't touch that dial. There is no dial. It's just buttons. It's all pre-saved now, but people would still say that. 
Um, exactly, Cosmo. Hello, Cammy. Uh, on reflection, Total Babe on a massive ride. Took some reflection to get there, though, didn't it? You had to... Thinking man's crumpet, aren't I, really? That's the... <laughs> Uh, right, it's about time we gave you your next task. Good, because I haven't really finished any of the current ones. Right, we're going to go to the jungle during the night and find a crystal bloom glowing in the dark. What's a crystal bloom? I don't oh, care. Um, I don't care. I've yeah. already done this. I've already seen I know what a crystal bloom is, and it goes into its illuminous state, which means it glows and then it attracts big Pokemon. Um, right. I'm obviously being a bit of a dickhead there. I just the dialogue. I just don't care. Here. Just tell me what the next thing is to do. It's one of the few games where I'd rather it was just a list of objectives. So right, and I'll do this. Okay, good. I don't care about any of the characters or anything. <laughs> uh, right. <clears throat> uh, oh, sorry. How long am I on for? Probably. Uh, depends when the shopping turns up. To be honest. Everybody say hello to Kokami. Hello, Kokami. It's pretty Everyone else in the chat, please do the same. Also, follow him. Oh, good. Look for a glowing crystal bloom, would you? What are you doing up there, friend? Oi! Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we do have a shout out command. We should probably sort that out. You can use the alert thing if you want, Ben. Although to be honest, I think I've now forgotten how it works. So you're the you're the master of that now. Whoa! What the fuck is this? Terrifying spider web. What if I throw an apple? Oh, so the spider web doesn't catch apples, does it not? That's not realistic. There you go. Nice one, Ben. Uh, let's see. Where is everyone? Who is this? Who's this? Do you want an apple, mate? Do you eat apples? Or just flies? See, look, ah, smack dab in the middle. Yeah, but that's not actually good because that's not how photography works necessarily. Right, there you go. It's a big old picture of a crystal bloom, but it's not glowing, is it? Oh, he just eats flesh. Yeah, that makes sense. There's another one. Oh, that's a, a ledian. What are you? What are you? It's sort of nice not knowing, like, most of the Pokemon at the moment. <laughs> because it's just this, like, baffling selection of mad creatures that I've not actually seen before. Oi! Ariados! Over here, mate. Uh, bad photos. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Get an apple chucked at you. Go on. <laughs> oh, much sorry. Should I be scanning? Sorry. I didn't really think this was going to turn out to be a game where I'm struggling to read the chat and play at the same time. Look, I'm scanning now. Look, there you go. Look at all these morals. Oops, that's that's an apple. Yeah. Deal with that. <laughs> um, sorry, Lindy, you must be very annoyed. My failure to heed your advice. Wake up, a lot of you. Right, now where are we going? Down here. Oh, so they, they actually react to the scans. Ah, I didn't know that. Oh, I bet that would be if, if I got the shot of it. Diving in. They'd love that at the lab. What are you? They're just flowers. I just I just assume anything that looks slightly unusual is a Pokemon of some sort. Um, whoa! Hey mate, do you like apples? Fuck's sake. Here we go. Face me! Oi! Oh, you'll do. Oh my god, are they doing a mating ritual? 
Are they technically shagging right now? Mm -hmm. Oh god! Oh, I killed him! <laughs> I completely missed. Oh, it's telling me to scan, isn't it? Whoa, oh, I'm scanning. Where's the. Whoa! Hello, mate! Wake up! No. Ah, here we go. Scan that. I can hear noises. I don't know if it's my shopping being delivered. He was a big lad. A very big lad. Oh, another crystal bloom. Cool. I think that was a success. I think. <coughs> it's like, it's alright, you can just end it now. You don't have to... Send me crawling towards the point. Welcome back. Welcome back. Can't wait to see the Pokemon in this light. You mean no light. Right, hang on. Cammy, I'm I'm I, as a friend and fellow streamer, I'm ashamed to admit I don't know what you're talking about. Am I nicking your ideas by accident? Is that what's happening? <laughs> uh, is that all I got? Apparently that's the best one. Fine. Quite. Oh yes. Look at the points on these. I'm just gonna go with that one where he's looking happy. I I imagine it'll prefer the one where he's being assaulted with an apple, but. I like that one the best. Listen, Cammy, I've never heard you say those things, All right? So just leave off. Why is the photograph with a million of them not as good as that? Oh God, I'll never figure this out. You want screen face me at a person in Pokemon Red only to discover they don't actually do battles. Amazing. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go with that one of them getting bot. I reckon that's the one. Um, right, these Jan Mega ones. How are all these one star? They're doing, they're up to all sorts. I'm going to go with that one, I think. And then the Crystal Bloom. We got it. We got it. Oh, what do you reckon, Mirror? All right. Let's have a look. There's no way this is going to top nice that work. other one. Oh, oh, oh! Blimey! Well, that'll do. Ariados. New. Discovery. New. Nice work. Probably not that good a photograph, though. Oh no, that's that's a fair few points, I guess. Mm, nice work. Not a bad shot at all. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Three diamond stars. A new discovery. I don't think this isn't gonna nice score work. well. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. More lol. This should be worth one million points. A That's a great picture. Nice work. They're getting assaulted with an apple. There's four of them. One of them's got their eyes open because he's been assaulted with. No, see, it's not. I don't get it. I don't get the scoring. Sometimes. <laughs> this should be worth loads. A new discovery. But it's apparently it's only a one star. Bullshit one. Ah, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. There we go. It's the crystal bloom. So now that I've photographed that, do I now go on to a level where I get to photograph a big lad? Because that's what happened in the previous area. Got the hang of nighttime research. Camera fan. What a great title. <laughs> um, 
cool. Seven types of bugs. Bella Silver Island Crystal Bloom. Ah. By the way, now that we've got that Crystal Bloom info, I've got something to report. I hope you're excited. I sure am. You can hear it in my voice. So yeah, so the stars are based on the actions rather than like a score threshold, aren't they? I think you're right. Hello, Dave. Yep. Great job, your photos gave us plenty of data to work with. Now then. His trousers like he's look, look, make it look like he's got thin little legs in his dick. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Kind of does. Right, he's got something to show us. Oh, oh it's an orb. You can make Pokemon mm. and Crystal Blooms glow. Fucking hell. Yeah, alright, I don't now care. Then. Right, good. But he just showed us a blue one and said, oh, it only works on this island. Then he's just used a yellow one from the other island. Nice. Ooh. <sighs> well. Shut up, Todd. Mm -hmm. Right, so you can fire him up. Hey, so. Okay. Okay. Yep. <laughs> What's wrong with the name Phil? Phil's a good name. Yeah, profile icons. Blah, blah, blah. Right, let's just... Fucking... Right, so it hasn't unlocked a new thing. So do we so do we now go back to Florio and start bunging orbs around? Is that the That's the move, isn't it? Is it worth doing that in the day or just at night time? I should probably have paid attention to the interesting dialogue. I feel like I presume it must be night time, because you're lighting things up. Right? A luminous spot and night. Okay, cool. Let's do let's do the park at night time. Phil means horse lover. Is that an actual thing? Take a picture of your favorite Pokemon. Who is your favorite Pokemon, Cami? I don't think we've ever we ever had that discussion. Oh, you mate, get illuminated. Look at that. They're not that cheap. Um, whoa, whoa, look at this tango. So what's the, what happens if you chuck a... So that doesn't really do anything, right? Hey, mate. Yes, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, I'm going to make this Tangrowth light the fuck up. <laughs> hey mate! Look at that! Oh, he's off! He's away! Where did he go? <laughs> Who's up there? Hey man. I think that first photograph's probably going to be the one. I don't understand what the merit is in making them light up. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is textbook. Oh, scanning, scanning, scanning. What we got? Weird stuff. Noises are coming from this bump in the ground. Come on. Come on, come on. Nah, that's not doing anything. Oh, Crystal Bloom. Photograph. Orb. Nothing that achieves anything. No way, why are they glowing? Well, I'm complaining. Look up, mate. <laughs> this isn't going well at all. Um. <clears throat> Whoa. Oh, missed. Whoa. 
What an action. Right, so is the point that... Um, making them glow makes them do, like, an action of some sort. Um, oh my god, that Magikarp is dead. He's dead! Wake up, Magikarp! Magikarp! Oh. Sleeping Badoof. Get lit up, mate. Get an apple thrown at you. Um. Yes! Look at that! What a fucking photograph! <laughs> uh, sorry, Dave. No, you're absolutely right. I, I think I don't really like this. Um. Oh, hello. Look at that! Oh! Beautiful. Um, but yeah, there's, there's moments like that are, are good, but there's a lot of just a lot of a lot of this, just moving around, thinking, ah, oh, I wonder if something's gonna happen. Hey, mate! Ah. Over here! Do something! Yes! Nice. Look at that! Dynamite! Oh, bees. Oh, what a throw. <laughs> Still rubbish shot, right? But... Oh, he's doing a right little dance. Whoa. There's nothing there. Uh oh. What have we got here. Something is moving in the field of flowers. Ah, oh, it's you again. Already got a photo of you, mate. Not interested. Unless you want to eat an apple. Then we'll talk. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, he's absolutely off his face on blue orb shit. I would just realise the, the speech bubble thing. Sorry, I realised what you meant. <laughs> Zoom home on this course now. Go ahead and choose some photos. Will do. All right, Bidoof. I mean, who cares? He's having a little run. It's not going to beat the score on the other one, though. Buffalant, rubbish, Pidgeot, oh, three stars. Oh, look at them. That fucking quality. Tangrowth, yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be the one. Murkrow. Oh, is, uh, yeah, I don't know if there are shiny mon in it. That seems like an obvious thing they should do, right? How's that, what, how's that a one star picture? That is quality. Uh, here we go. Does, how is that as good as <laughs> one of these? I mean, that looks like the one, right? Because it's kind of doing stuff. They're all good, though. So I feel like that one that one is actually the best photograph. But I'm enjoying the action on that one. Because that one's just standing still. I reckon it's got to be that one. It's cool. <laughs> Dead Magikarp. Alive Magikarp. Um, so I prefer that picture. I think the game will prefer that picture. Right, oh my god! Oh my god! Four star, mate! Now, so obviously that one, the whole thing's in shot. In that one, it's cut off, but it's much bigger. I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, here we go. Alright, alright. Uh, let's see. How is that picture of Torterra? <laughs> Whatever. Um, I think that's the one. It's got better framing. God knows how that's a three star, but whatever. Combi. That's good. I like that. Um, Pincer. Pretty rubbish, but I'll take it. Crystal Bloom. Boring. No subject. Just some... No, that's where you are. So I was trying to take a picture of the bee and the wizard around being nuts. Right, here we go. Here we go. Now then. Just going to check my phone. Nice 
nice work. Rubbish. Rubbish. Knew it. Nice work. How's that only marginally worse than that? Oh, whatever. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Big money. Ooh. Take that. This should be a good one as well. Yeah, mate. Not expecting much from this one. Okay. Not bad. Um... Was the combi picture good? I've not got there yet. It was, it was only counted as a one-star one. That doesn't mean it won't score well. A new discovery. Nice work. New discovery? A caterpie? What? Or oh, maybe they were all worm pulls until now. Nice work. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. Not as good as my previous picture. Weird. Nice work. Ooh. Yep. That's a good one. Big points. Ah, so with these. Great timing. Were you saying, Lindy, that if it's four stars, that means it's. It's full for. Yeah, there we go. Request complete. Yeah, okay. Cool. Magic car, here he is. Great timing. Great timing. Thank you. Cool. Oh, here we go. Right, if this one isn't worth five discovery. million points, I'm going to be annoyed. <coughs> Great timing. Nah. Four and a half, that's pretty good. I don't know what the absolute maximum score is. Can you just get... No, I don't, I don't know what the limit is. I'll do. Hello, Robotic Monkey. How's it going? So you don't actually get any points for these, do you? Shite. Come on, come on, how many points do we get? Uh, not that many. <laughs> <coughs> Damn completed. Lake. Okay. Shall I, I might, um, I might put a uh, hard space ship breaker on. Cause I am finding this a bit dull. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'm sort of glad I got a physical copy because I had a feeling it might get traded in when Isaac got bored of it, and Isaac got bored of it almost immediately. Um, so, yeah, it's just a lot of menus, a lot of faff, just for not a lot of taking pictures. I don't know, I, I thought I was going to really enjoy it. I mean, it's fine. But, I don't know. All the reviews were really positive, weren't they? Um, which I was surprised by. And was what the reason. So, like, so it was on the Wednesday we were told that Isaac had to isolate. And then, obviously, on the Thursday, the reviews all came out. And I was like, yeah, go on there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he's like, he's not even... He's not asked for it. Like, that's usually the, the sign. Like, he might not necessarily seem like he enjoys something and then two days later oh can we play pokemon snap and he's just not even, <laughs> not even mentioned it so um yeah right let's let's put hard space shipbreaker on there you go there's my switch menu enjoy that uh da, 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 da. right hang on let's so this is going to be awkward because i'm switching from console to pc let's see if this works Hope that doesn't kill the stream. Sorry, I'm switching my monitor from... Oh, God. Are we on? We're still on. I think we're okay. <laughs> right, there we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Move that to that screen. Put game capture on. Looking for a game to capture. Hang on a minute. Why is that above everything? That's incorrect. <laughs> 
Hang on. There we go. Um, ba, 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 ba. I assume I'm pretty sure I can stream and run this at the same time. I just realized my PC controller is over there. So I'm going to go and grab that. One second. <laughs> Uh, yeah, colonists. Well, good. Oh, where's the game? Oh, I also need to plug my headphones in. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. You can't hear the game, can you? One second. Audio devices. Uh, speakers. Someone just posted something. Um, oh, why is it still not detected a game for capture? That's weird. I'll see you later, Lindy. Thanks for um, watching. Uh, right, why is it not? Streamlabs. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I mean, I could always just do display capture instead. In fact, I probably will just do that. There we go. Better, innit? So, um, this had an update recently, a big one. Um, oh, we need to change the game, don't we? Shit, shit. Um, oh, God, what's the command? Is it set game? I think it is. Did that work? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so this recently had a big update, like so big that it made all previous save files not work. So I've been, so I've put like 30 hours into this. Um, but uh, yeah, they sort of they announced a few months ago that they were going to be doing a new big update that was going to make all the old save files not work. So I've been off it for a bit. And I, so now I've started the new campaign. Um, Oh, it's proper good and it's still like really early doors um i was gonna do a stream where i just went from the start but there's actually in the opening there's a bit that i'm sort of glad to have not spoiled for anyone um it's surprisingly horrible like it's <laughs> um like the, like because this is a game about you know what happens if capitalism carries on being as shitty as it is in the future and in space um and it's yeah and it's and it's always had this like really sort of deeply cynical tone um or not cynical but yeah critical tone put it that way um and it's yeah and basically so the new story mode fleshes that out a lot more um and it's just been very interesting uh all oh, the game's really quiet hang on let me just there we go. <laughs> so yeah, so basically there's more dialogue now, um, and there's, I think there's more sort of actual events that take place. The, the central hook of the game is the same. You you live in this sort of module in space, and then you just call in um, like derelict ships, and then you have to dismantle them incredibly carefully. Um, but it's and as you go through the game they get more and more complex there's more and more dangers with them um so at the moment because as i say so i've started again so this is sort of so, so ship grade two um so everything's still pretty basic so what we've got we've got station hoppers and we've got light cargo so station hoppers tend to be for carrying personnel so there'll be like seats and stuff whereas obviously cargo it'll just be a, a like empty but with boxes and, and maybe some machinery and stuff um who which one shall i do i mean it doesn't really matter i suppose i'll do a cargo one <clears throat> hello kami yes we're 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 in space now do, 
to do. Right, here we go. Hi, hold up a second there, Cutter. Oh, what, what, what? Because you've increased your rank, okay. we're going to give you the next grade of ship. Now, this one will be full of machinery, electronics, furniture, all stuff that Lynx can collect and resell. You're going to want to toss those items on the barge. That's the uh, big green thing below you. Go ahead and have a look. Ooh. Toss any valuable objects or components down there. And don't worry about breaking anything. There's a dampening field that'll catch everything. It works great. Most of the time. He he. Give it a go. All right. So, yeah, so these nacelles on the side you can chuck straight into the barge. Basically, anything that can be sort of taken whole and resold, you chuck in the barge down here. Your soft metals go in the furnace, and then you sort of, I think it's like hard metals and polycarbon stuff or whatever goes in the processor. So, here we are. So here's, how many weak points is there? Oh, it's just the one. Wicked. Uh, oh, Christ. I keep forgetting... The controls for some reason, even though I've played this for a million years. Oh, how's that out of range? Okay. So now that's separated, and then we get the grapple hook, and we go. Off you go. Um, but yeah, VR support. I think they've, like, obviously people have been asking, and they've sort of vaguely. They sort of made comments to the effect of like we we know <laughs> um so yeah i don't know where they're up to with it i assume that you know focusing on getting the game finished first this is still early access technically um i mean i like i've been enjoying it for months already um oops it's yeah so i'm <laughs> i'm not at the point in the story yet where so at the moment i still don't have an oxygen limit um, but it is going to introduce that. Um, there is a mode you can play that just doesn't have any of that stuff, though. Um, oh, let's take that off. Chuck that in the bin. Nice work. Thumb up. Now let me teach you about the kiosk. Okay. Once the training wheels come off, Link's regulations mean you got to cover your own oxygen and fuel costs. That's the way things go. Turning it on now. Now, no need to panic. They'll last you a good while. Okay. But if you end up running out, you gotta go top up at the kiosk. Oh, he wants me to go over. Okay, fine. Um, so, yeah, basically, there, yeah, there are limits on... So, there's the length of your shift. There's only a certain amount of time. Um, and then, yeah, there's also your oxygen and, and fuel and stuff. But, again, there, yeah, there's a mode where there's just no time limits and stuff. Um. Hey. Good. Right. Good. Pretty easy, right? All right. I'll leave you to it. We'll chat again when you hit the next rank. Leave her out. Cool. Oh, can I buy tethers now? No. Oh, that's annoying. Thank you for your purchase. Didn't actually need that. Probably shouldn't have. Bought it. Never mind. The um yeah, so the, the sort of central aim of this is um so by being given this job you've been like selected, right, from a list of like millions of people who are out of work and as such everyone's desperate for employment. So your first day at work you have a debt of like millions of dollars, basically. <laughs> so and and it gives you all this like awful like corporate spiel about it's like oh but you know once you work that off you can start fulfilling your dreams <laughs> and it's just awful um right okay so we want to put stuff in the barge first so i'm going to take the floor out oops and then this bit So now, grapple hook. Get 
out, man. You can just sort of push against things and like boost, boost into them. Why is that not moving? Is there another thing I've forgotten about? Let's try the scanner. Ah, is it attached by these? I think maybe it is. Yes, it totally is. I don't, for some reason, I keep pressing le left bumper to change item uh, or equipment or whatever, and I've no idea why, because that's never been a thing in this game. Uh, okay. Is that it? Will it move now? Nope. This is weird. That should be enough. What else is holding that in place? Um, oh, for God's sake. Idiot. <laughs> so you do, like, as you work your way up. But actually, no, that shouldn't have been connected at all. What the fuck? Whatever. Take the ceiling off. Um, yeah, as you work your way up, you basically go from, like, little station hoppers and, and ships like this to, like, actual big ones. And they are terrifying. They've got massive, like, nuclear exits. Look, see, see how these are coming off straight away? what we want right so that's oh that's a cargo hatch uh, is there any way to neatly separate that from the frame because if you look so it's telling me the cargo hatch can go in the barge but then this framing around it is for the processor so I don't actually know what it wants me to do there I don't think it's worth cutting the bits off. Uh, this is a new campaign, yeah. Uh, I haven't played Mudrunner. It does look like a pretty good time, though. Right, so I'm going to get told off for wasting some of the materials here. Um, but we'll see. Go on, in you go. So it's burning off the stuff that should have gone in the processor. Never mind. This one's easy. This is just an aluminium panel. So this just goes in the furnace. Oh, hang on. There's a little light on it. Bugger. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Uh, right, what else we got? Let's get this out. Store oh, Christ. No, that was the wrong button. <laughs> okay. This is a thing, like, this is what's sort of cool about it, because you... There have been situations where I've sort of realised, like, something's tumbling towards the furnace, and then I spot, like, an important or a valuable piece of kit attached to it that's about to get destroyed. And you and so you like you dive towards the furnace and you grab it and pull it out and you're like oh man that was cool and you're like no it's not because I just risked my actual life to to, to save twenty quid oh. <laughs> which is kind of the point it's making ah here we go I think this will free all the bottom panels now here we go right. Oh yeah, running out of oxygen. I take it there's none in here. There's not. Uh, unless once that that's not an oxygen bottle, is it? That's just oh, that's just a bottle. That's a chili. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I am about to asphyxiate to death. But yeah, it is just enormously satisfying. <laughs> Apart from the bits where you nearly die. Yeah, I know. Whoa. No, wrong button. There we go. Thank you.
Um, so I was going to take the glass off the front, but I think the front cabin might still be pressurized. That's another thing you have to be aware of. <laughs> um, like, especially like, when you get to the larger ships as well, you're sort of making sure you work your way through them methodically so that you don't, like, accidentally cut into something that's still pressurized. Because you will have a bad time. So let's just check. Does it say... And I think it's all right. I think maybe it doesn't introduce that until a bit further in. The introduction sort of through the campaign is generally a lot slower than it was as well. So this has got all chairs and shit in it. So they can go, they can all go in the barge. So let's get rid, oops, rid of this. Come on, come on. You should get it, man. It's so good. Um, was someone saying it was cheap on CD keys? I believe it's on sale on Steam for a bit as well to celebrate the new update. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Okay. Oh, yeah, one more panel. Now you come. Um, it's also worth looking up. It was 20 quid on Steam. Okay. Um, it is worth looking up speed runs for this as well because they're absolutely terrifying. Um, all right, okay, let's get some of these bits out. Oops. Oh God, I'm about to explode my cutter. <coughs> Pre-ordering Warhammer. Oh, is this? There was a, a thing recently, wasn't there? They announced a load of new stuff. Is that right? Um, I'm not a big Warhammer guy, but obviously I have friends who are. Because nerds, innit? <laughs> uh, oh, Christ, here we go again. So we got uh, just mounts that will go in the furnace. That's fine. All right, let's get this ceiling off then. Oops. Oh, hang on. No, first, get the light. Yes, I saw the vampire ones. They look absolutely ludicrous. Um, oh god, so I've detached this bit from the front bit, which I probably shouldn't have done yet, because now they're going to start floating separately from one another. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's get that off. Yeah. Um, although it does mean I can start creeping in here and taking the, the walls off, so that's something. not coming out that's why there we go <laughs> no idea where my shopping is just realized it's like half two already <laughs> in you go Do, do. 
God, I'm running out of oxygen again, aren't I? Biohazards. Ah. Yep. Good idea. I know, it's fine. You also, um, some of the bigger ships will have little oxygen and fuel packs in them. So you can sort of, it sort of gets easier as you can like start grabbing those like while you're working, which is quite handy. Let's see, let's see. Right, that bit of wall should now be free. Yeah. All right, all right. There we go. And the airlock goes in the barge, because there's nothing wrong with that. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Ba, 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 ba. Salvage gained. Rewards increasing. Yeah, mate. So it used to be, there would be like these specific objectives. So it'd be like, fucking chuck like 20 chairs in the barge or whatever but they seem to have done away with those now and now it's just like just by the amount of scrap which i think is fine to be honest um because you couldn't always guarantee like how many chairs would be in a ship for example um so like yeah so you might have an, so maybe may, you know say you've got an objective where you need to you know chuck another seven chairs in but then you get the next ship you get only has six. I, I guess they're trying to avoid stuff like that. Um, so yeah, now it just goes off the, the amount of stuff. Like the tonnage. Okay, is this free now? Yes, it is. Go on, in you go. Right, so then we have to be very carefully take this fuel tank out. Um, as you get further in, they're like connected to fuel lines and stuff. And it's terrifying. You have to make sure you find, like there'll be like a switch in the engineering bit to um, flush the fuel lines first. So you've got to make sure everything's powered. If you take the power out first, then you can't use the machine that flushes the fuel lines. Um, so yeah, you have to be super careful about the order you do everything in. Right, off you come. It's been an amazing game to play like while having a podcast on as well. That, what is that? That's just debris. You can't grab it. Um, yeah, it's just good. Let's open the door. Oh, yeah, there's no power, is there? Idiot. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have to just cut that, or can I pull it off? I think I might have to cut it. Okay, fine. Um, da -da -da, cut, uh, nope, wrong button. There we go. Oh, that'll do it. 
Yeah, you should definitely check it out, man. It's, I don't think they're going to do another update that's going to erase everyone's save files. Um, but, um, yeah. I really hope it comes to consoles this year as well. If only because I know the other TCGS lot are not going to pay any attention unless it comes to consoles. Uh, right, let's have a look. Oops. Oh, Jesus. So this is just a thruster cap, but then later on there'll be like an entire engine attached to that and you have to sort of really carefully remove it. Um, okay, so is this whole rear bit good to go now? I think it is, but it's also massive. So I might have to break it up first. Your oxygen reserves are low. Oh, for fuck's sake. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so removing the engines is, is not too bad. It's the... Um, it's when you get onto the ones with reactors in them. Uh, like big huge ones with like cooling systems and stuff so what basically you have to disconnect the cooling system before you can pull it out safely but obviously once you pull it out there's like a time limit before it goes into overload or whatever um, there we go lovely air bet it smells great inside my suit as well really comfortable and nice <laughs> Uh, right, let's see if we can get this whole rear bit off and into the thing. I keep forgetting to just allow myself to drift and save fuel. Physics, innit? Right, uh, let's see. Is this going to be too heavy for me to move? I think it might be. I don't know, I think we might be able to do it. Basically, if the object's over a certain mass... Oh, Christ! Oh, no, there's still a... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Forgot there'd be one of those on the other side. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's fine. Off you go. Don't explode. Uh, yeah, so if something's over a certain mass, if you try and push it away, it'll just push you away instead. Go. Textbook. Oh, what's, where does that bit want to go? Processor. Cool. Oh, no. Okay. 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 Now let's take that panel off. It is very fun blowing the ships up by accident. Like, it's worth doing at least once on purpose. Um just because it's quite spectacular. Oops. Here's a solid thumbs up. Oops. The one's at the top as well. Oh, no, we haven't. Cool. This should. Move. Yeah, there we go. Processor. Oops, get the light off. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. What's that? Why is that red? Something that should have gone to the furnace, apparently. What is it? Oh! Why is that scrap? Weird. Do, 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 do. do you know, I've never really delved, or dived, dove into uh, Subnautica. I probably should, because it does seem like my kind of thing. Um, I played a little bit on the Series S. Salvage secured. Credit 
And yeah, seems like a good time. Uh oh, Robotic Monkey says it is merely okay. Are you taking that, Conky Donker? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and this bit as well. Oh, Christ, is that still... Oh, I thought that was still attached then, Jesus. Is there a light on it, though? Yes, there is. I'll do. And then, right, so this is probably going to be too big for me to move. Yep. Whoa, fucking hell. <laughs> Nearly flew into the processor. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut this up um, before I can shift it. I think I'll just cut it down the middle. Let's see how that goes. Oops. Yeah, cut that, cut that. And that. And that. Right, is that in two halves now? No, it's not. There we go. That should be it, I think. Nope, not quite. Right, Ooh, out, out, out. Now, are these small enough for me to shift? Yeah! Oh Christ, not that way, not that way! Oh God, I'm dying again! probably start keeping a better eye on that to be honest where's my fucking shopping <laughs> supposed to be here by three Ugh. do you know I'm re uh, weirdly not asked about the Mass Effect collection um, I'm not convinced they'll have aged that well anyway just in RPG terms um, and I don't really like what they've done with the visuals in a lot of cases so eh. <laughs> oh hello these are all floating in you go Oh yeah, I mean, if you because in in some ways, and I'm not being a asshole purist or anything. The the first one is sort of the best in some ways, <laughs> like it's not like it's not actually, but it just does some things. I think um, the the time were just unbelievably cool, like the way it sets up the universe and stuff. I just think it's just excellent. Uh, let's see, right. Oh, Christ, that's the wrong cutter mode. Although it does the job, to be fair. Material process. Yeah, basically that's that's it, isn't it, Ben? This, like, I mean, I'm, you know, I am a Mass Effect 3 original ending apologist. Um, but yeah, the story in the first one, probably favourite. Off you go. Nearly there. So we've just got to cut the glass out. And then... Let's see. So, often easier said than done. 
Oh, no, Christ. Oh, God, that's... Oh, that's cut into the ship. Have I... Oh, I fucked the chairs and the storage bins. Bollocks. Gonna make some sweet cash out of them. Never mind. Uh, let's see. Glass. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, is that still attached? Okay. Okay. Thought I'd cut these off. Apparently not. Do 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 do. Oh, hang on. Hang on. There we go. All about the storage bins, mate. Oh, valuable commodities, all right. Oh, Christ. Uh. There's a problem as well. Once the what remains starts getting really light, it'll just start, like, spinning around. So, right, so I've now reached the maximum salvage goal. Um... That's half a chair, so that just goes in the furnace now rather than going in the barge. That's a shame. Uh, so, yeah, so I could just bin this now. Um, like the bar across the top, so you got your three goals. Um, and I think you just get a bonus for hitting each one, I think. Um, and then obviously the red bit is stuff that for whatever reason now can't be salvaged, either because you put it in the wrong place or you destroyed it or whatever. Oh, it's fuel that's low this time. I think I'll just buy fuel and oxygen, to be honest, because I think that should be enough to do it now. we got there we go one whole ass chair for the use of storage bins oh, you come oh, you come the ones i haven't lasered in to several pieces let's do the half of that chair <laughs> i am actually gonna flip my lid about my shopping not really, it doesn't really matter. Mate, I won't complain. I can have one Hot Wheel. <laughs> Which item will I most be uh, disappointed by if it was missing? Well, I don't know, because uh, shamefully, uh, my wife put the shop together and just told me it was arriving. She actually works at a supermarket, so as, as many of you will know. So she tends to handle the food shopping. Um... What snacks do you get for a 4am stream? Maybe just a absolutely atrocious takeaway. That's my plan for tonight. I've got the, the house actually fully to myself. Because um, Isaac's at his in-laws tonight. Um, oh, I might just... Some of this is for the furnace. I might just F it all into the processor, to be honest. Just for a laugh. I'll get told off for wasting money, but whatever. Off you go, mate. What am I going for? So there's a place, um, it's about a 20 minute drive away, and it's a restaurant that obviously has pivoted to doing takeaways. Um, 
in the last year and um so they i mean it, it, technically it's a bistro but they do amazing burgers and fried chicken and stuff um there we go processed nanocarbon but destroyed some aluminium never mind um and that's it that's how it's done no more ship all gone some of it wasted but uh not a huge amount oh they do amazing mac and cheese as well um and fries and stuff so yeah i think that's happening and i'm just gonna drive out and get it because why not um <laughs> i'm watching a farley stream bloody loves a bistro that boy right in we go So the salvage summaries, there's all the shit we destroyed, but grand scheme of things, not too bad. Still made over a million, or 1.3 million credits, which is a, a huge dent in our current debt of 1,250,095,967. <laughs> I've reached a new certification level yet, please. I don't think I have. Um, cool. Oh yeah, so there's there's fees every day as well. So there's interest on your current debt. Um, obviously, if you die, they regenerate you. That costs a fortune. You have to rent your suit, your helmet, um, all the other stuff. You do as you go as you get further in. You can start buying stuff. Um, so you actually own your own equipment, which is obviously seen as like a aspirational thing, even though the company should just be supplying it free of charge anyway. Um, links safety third. I'm going to put that sticker on my cutter. There we go. Belter. Cool. Right. I'm going to call it a stream because theoretically my shopping is going to be here within the next eight minutes. And if it's not, I'm going to kick the fuck off. <laughs> um, let's, let's get, let's get, the, let's get the, the big big camera. There we go. Hello. Oh, it's still showing the switch. That's weird. I assumed that would have... Let's turn, let's turn that off. Let's see what happens when we turn that off. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. I should do more of these again. Um, I've, as COVID has persisted, I've become even more and more disorganized with my working from home days, which is obviously every day. Um, but um, yeah, this has been nice. I'll, I'll try and do more of them. Um, so yeah. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy Matt and, and James playing It Takes Two tonight. Um, and then I don't know if Dave's doing any more Returnal at any point. Um, but then obviously show next week, etc. Um, so yeah, take care of yourselves. I still haven't got a proper ending screen. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, right. That's the door. I'm going to take off. Cheers, everyone. Ta-ra.